space, and time. These are the fundamental building blocks of our universe. For centuries, we thought of them as separate entities, unchanging and absolute. But then came a revolution, a shift in our understanding so profound that it reshaped our entire perception of reality. This revolution was sparked by the genius of Albert Einstein, who dared to question the very nature of space and time. Einstein's theory of relativity, a masterpiece of scientific thought, revealed a profound truth. Space and time are not independent entities, but rather interwoven threads in a single fabric we call space-time. This fabric is not static, it's dynamic and responsive, bending and warping under the influence of mass and energy. Imagine a trampoline, its surface taut and flat. Now place a bowling ball in the center. The ball's weight causes the trampoline to sag, creating a dip in the fabric. Similarly, massive objects like planets and stars warp the fabric of space-time, creating what we perceive as gravity. This warping dictates how objects move through the cosmos, influencing the trajectory of planets, the paths of light, and even the flow of time itself. The more massive an object, the greater the curvature it induces in space-time, and the stronger its gravitational pull. This revolutionary concept of space-time as a flexible, responsive entity laid the foundation for our modern understanding of the universe. It's a concept that continues to shape our exploration of the cosmos, guiding our quest to unravel the mysteries of black holes, the expansion of the universe, and the very essence of reality itself. Space and time are not merely interwoven. They are engaged in an intricate dance, a constant interplay that defines the cosmic rhythm. Time, once considered an absolute and unwavering current, is revealed to be relative, its pace influenced by the presence of mass and the distortions of space-time. Near massive objects, where space-time is warped more significantly, time actually slows down. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, has been experimentally verified, demonstrating that time is not a universal constant, but a fluid dimension that bends to the will of gravity. Imagine two identical clocks, one placed on Earth's surface and the other aboard a high-speed spacecraft. As the spacecraft approaches the speed of light, time aboard the vessel begins to slow relative to time on Earth. The difference might be minuscule at first, but as the spacecraft accelerates, the discrepancy becomes increasingly pronounced. The clock on Earth continues its steady tick-tock, while time aboard the spacecraft seems to stretch and slow, its seconds growing longer. This isn't a mere theoretical concept, it's a measurable reality, a testament to the intricate dance between space and time. This dance extends beyond the realm of spacecraft and planets. It influences the behavior of black holes, those cosmic behemoths whose gravitational pull is so strong that they warp space-time to an extreme, creating regions where time as we know it ceases to exist. Gravity, the force that holds us to the ground, that guides planets in their orbits and dictates the structure of galaxies, is not a force in the traditional sense. It's a manifestation of space-time's curvature, a consequence of mass warping the very fabric of reality. Imagine a marble rolling across a flat sheet. It moves in a straight line, unimpeded. Now introduce a dip in the sheet, a curvature. The marble's path is altered. It curves as it encounters the depression, its trajectory influenced by the shape of the sheet. This is analogous to how gravity operates in the universe. Planets, stars, and galaxies create dips or curvatures in the fabric of space-time. These curvatures dictate how objects move through the cosmos, pulling them along curved paths as they navigate the undulating landscape of space-time. The greater the mass of an object, the deeper the curvature it creates, and the stronger its gravitational influence. Even light, which travels at the fastest speed possible, is affected by gravity's warping of space-time. As light passes by a massive object, its path is bent, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. This bending of light has allowed astronomers to observe distant objects that would otherwise be hidden behind massive galaxies, using the gravity of these galaxies as cosmic magnifying glasses. Gravity's curvature, a consequence of the intricate dance between space and time, is a fundamental force that shapes the universe, influencing the motion of celestial bodies the paths of light, and the very evolution of the cosmos. 
The universe is not static. It's a dynamic, ever-evolving entity, constantly expanding outward. This expansion isn't like an explosion, with galaxies hurtling away from a central point. It's more like the stretching of a rubber sheet, with all points on the sheet moving farther apart as the sheet expands. The discovery of this expansion revolutionized our understanding of the universe, revealing a cosmos that is not eternal, but rather had a beginning, an event we call the Big Bang. In the early 20th century, astronomer Edwin Hubble made a groundbreaking observation. Distant galaxies are moving away from us, and the farther away a galaxy is, the faster it's receding. This observation, known as Hubble's Law, provided the first concrete evidence for the expansion of the universe. The expansion is driven by a mysterious force called dark energy, a pervasive energy field that permeates all of space and exerts a repulsive pressure, causing space-time to stretch and expand. The expansion of the universe has profound implications for our understanding of the cosmos, its past and its future. It suggests that the universe was once much smaller and denser than it is today, and that it has been expanding and cooling ever since the Big Bang. This expansion also raises questions about the ultimate fate of the universe. Will it continue to expand forever, or will it eventually slow down and collapse under its own gravity? The answer to this question depends on the balance between the repulsive force of dark energy and the attractive force of gravity, a balance that remains one of the biggest mysteries in cosmology. If the universe began with a Big Bang, an unimaginably hot and dense state, then remnants of that primordial inferno should still linger in the cosmos. And indeed, they do. In 1964, Two scientists, Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson, stumbled upon a faint, persistent hum emanating from every direction in the sky. This hum, known as the cosmic microwave background radiation, is the afterglow of the Big Bang, a faint echo of the universe's fiery birth. The cosmic microwave background radiation provides a snapshot of the universe as it was roughly 380,000 years after the Big Bang a time when the universe had cooled enough for atoms to form and light to travel freely. This radiation, which has been meticulously mapped by satellites like WMAP and Planck, reveals subtle temperature fluctuations, tiny variations in the density of the early universe. These fluctuations, though small, are incredibly significant. They represent the seeds of cosmic structure, the tiny density variations that would eventually grow under the influence of gravity to form stars, galaxies, and all the complex structures we observe in the universe today. The cosmic microwave background radiation is a Rosetta Stone for cosmologists, providing invaluable information about the universe's early history, its composition, and its evolution. It's a testament to the power of scientific inquiry, allowing us to peer back in time and witness the faint afterglow of the universe's fiery origin. While we've made remarkable strides in understanding the universe, a profound mystery lingers, a shadow that obscures our vision of the cosmos. This mystery is the presence of dark matter and dark energy, two invisible entities that together constitute roughly 95% of the universe's total mass and energy. Dark matter, as its name suggests, doesn't interact with light, making it invisible to our telescopes. However, its gravitational influence is undeniable evidenced by the rotation of galaxies, the motion of galaxy clusters, and the large-scale structure of the universe. Imagine a galaxy, its stars swirling in a cosmic ballet. The visible matter, the stars and gas we can see, isn't enough to account for the observed rotation speeds. There must be some unseen mass, some invisible hand guiding the galactic dance, and that's where dark matter comes in. Dark energy, on the other hand, is even more enigmatic. It's a repulsive force, a pervasive energy field that permeates all of space and drives the accelerated expansion of the universe. We don't know what dark energy is, but its influence is profound, dictating the fate of the cosmos. These two dark entities, dark matter and dark energy, represent the biggest mysteries in modern cosmology, highlighting the vastness of our ignorance and the limits of our current understanding. They beckon us to explore new frontiers, to push the boundaries of knowledge and unravel the secrets of the unseen universe. 
Our current understanding of the universe is built upon two pillars. Einstein's theory of general relativity, which describes gravity as the curvature of space-time, and quantum mechanics, which governs the behavior of matter and energy at the atomic and subatomic levels. These two theories have been incredibly successful in their respective domains, but they seem fundamentally incompatible. General relativity describes a smooth, continuous fabric of space-time, while quantum mechanics paints a picture of a universe filled with discrete quanta of energy and matter. This incompatibility is particularly acute in extreme environments, such as the center of black holes or the very early universe, where both gravity and quantum effects are expected to be strong. To fully comprehend these extreme environments, and to gain a more complete understanding of the universe, we need a theory that can reconcile general relativity and quantum mechanics, a theory of quantum gravity. The quest for quantum gravity is one of the most ambitious and challenging endeavors in modern physics. It seeks to unify the two pillars of our understanding of the universe, to bridge the gap between the very large and the very small, and to reveal the fundamental nature of space-time itself. Many promising approaches are being explored, including string theory, loop quantum gravity, and causal dynamical triangulation. Each of these approaches offers a different perspective on the nature of space-time, suggesting that it might be composed of tiny, vibrating strings, interconnected loops, or a constantly evolving network of causal connections. The quest for quantum gravity is a journey into the unknown, a search for the ultimate theory of the universe. In the grand tapestry of the cosmos, we, the inhabitants of Earth, occupy a humble abode. Our planet, a pale blue dot suspended in the vastness of space, is but one of countless worlds scattered across the universe. This realization, born from centuries of scientific exploration and fueled by the insatiable human desire to understand our place in the cosmos, has profoundly shifted our perspective. We are not at the center of the universe, nor are we unique in our existence. We are part of a vast interconnected web of cosmic phenomena, a product of the same physical laws and processes that govern the entire universe. This understanding, far from diminishing our significance, enhances it. We are a species capable of comprehending the universe, of unraveling its mysteries and marveling at its beauty. We are a species that has evolved to question, to explore and to push the boundaries of knowledge. Our existence, though fleeting in the cosmic timescale, is no less remarkable. We are the universe contemplating itself, a testament to the boundless potential of life and consciousness. As we continue our exploration of the cosmos, we carry with us the legacy of countless generations, their hopes, dreams and aspirations. We are the inheritors of a vast cosmic heritage, entrusted with the task of unraveling the mysteries of the universe and safeguarding its wonders for future generations. The universe is a tapestry woven from threads of mystery, a grand cosmic puzzle that we are only beginning to piece together. Space-time, gravity, the expansion of the universe, dark matter, dark energy, quantum gravity, these are but a few of the profound enigmas that beckon us to explore, to question, and to seek answers. The pursuit of these answers is a journey of discovery, a quest to comprehend the fundamental nature of reality. It's a journey that requires not only scientific ingenuity, but also a profound sense of wonder, a willingness to embrace the unknown and to challenge our preconceived notions. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the cosmos, we must be prepared to encounter the unexpected, to confront our limitations and to revise our understanding of the universe. The pursuit of knowledge is a never-ending quest, a continuous cycle of observation, experimentation, and theoretical refinement. Each new discovery, each breakthrough in our understanding, opens up new avenues of exploration, revealing new mysteries to unravel. This ongoing quest, driven by our insatiable curiosity and our desire to comprehend the universe, is what makes us human. It's a testament to our collective ingenuity our capacity for wonder, and our enduring fascination with the cosmos. The universe is a realm of boundless wonder, a cosmic canvas painted with stars, galaxies, and nebulae, a tapestry of light, color, and motion that stretches beyond the limits of our imagination. 
It's a realm of unimaginable vastness, where distances are measured in light years, where stars live and die over billions of years, and where black holes warp space-time to its breaking point. Yet, amidst this vastness, there is also exquisite beauty, a delicate balance of forces that gives rise to the intricate structures we observe, from the delicate dance of planets around their stars to the majestic sweep of spiral galaxies. The universe is a symphony of cosmic phenomena, a never-ending story of creation and destruction, of expansion and contraction, of order and chaos. It's a story that we are only beginning to decipher, a story that fills us with awe, wonder, and a profound sense of humility. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we must remember that we are not merely observers, but also participants in this grand cosmic drama. We are part of the universe, connected to its every atom, its every star, its every galaxy. We are the universe experiencing itself, a testament to the boundless creativity of the cosmos and the enduring power of life and consciousness. And as we gaze upon the starlit sky, let us remember that we are not alone. We are part of something much greater than ourselves, part of a universe that is filled with wonder, mystery, and endless possibility.